guys so long time no see and long time no talk i am extremely sorry a lot of things been going on and i feel like i've kind of like disconnected from you guys for like a while now and i'm extremely extremely sorry about that i've been really busy with so many things going on and a lot of things happen and i've been really seriously really busy with work and I've been just all over the place lately but hopefully I will be back on track on doing more videos on on YouTube as much as I can I promise you guys that I'm working really hard on it I mean I do have a few videos that I want to do this is one of them and I've been having this bag sitting for a while now and it's time for it to kind of like you know go away because I seriously can't take it anymore so I'm finally back with another Mac haul with it to everybody and I'm super super excited to show you guys what I have now I've been controlling myself so much for not buying so many things from Mac and just kind of you know doing my little control limit and not to spend so much money anymore but um, lately Mac has been coming out with really awesome collections and I just need to have a piece or two from the collection just to say that I have it. I do have some exciting collections to show you guys so let's jump into it. So my bag now is just a medium bag because it's just shoved with so many things. Um, to start off with, I'm going to start off with um, the new palettes that MAC has. So you have the 15 palette and you also have the 9 palette which is right here this one right here so these are really cool these are palettes that are pre-made for you guys and um, basically the colors are already set and uh, in there so you can't really move them or add anything so they're basically already made for for you guys which is really cool so you have the palette of 15 you have the uh, warm uh, neutral and then you have the cool neutral I have the warm neutral I find that it's the palette that suits me the most um, it looks like this and obviously I have used it. It's what I have on my eyes today I really have like a crazy liner going on and just like some browns and some amber and like some shimmer going on to it, too So I'm just gonna remove this And please excuse the fingerprints on this. I mean, I've used it quite a few times and I absolutely love it It looks like this now you have colors on here that Mac already has but most of the colors in here Mac doesn't have for example um, you have a color called Hey, Warm Breeze, Ginger Snap, uh, Dark Brew, Dance in the Dark, you know what I mean? These are colors that MAC doesn't have. Brulee, MAC already has. Vanilla Extract, Honey Lust, MAC already have. Amber Lust as well, and Saddle as well. Um, and then you have Lemon, tra lemon Tart, Lemon Tart, um, Creative Copper, which is right here. You have Butter Fudge. Um, Divine Decandice, I believe, and you have Unwind, Unwind, which is really cool um, color. They're not limited because um, this palette is permanent with back, so if ever you want this palette with these new colors in there, and they're actually really awesome shades. There's a lot of shades that I love in here. I love Ginger Snap. I love Lemon Tart too, um, which is very pretty. Dance in the Dark. This one right here, it's gorgeous. Um, uh, dark Brew as well. Dark Brew I find it kind of looks like Sketch except it's more brownish than purplish. Um, Saddle, I MAC has it and I absolutely <laughs> so in love with this color. Super nice, just in the crease work. I mean, this palette is, is amazing and I absolutely love it. Um, the next thing, I'm just going to throw this in the back here. Do you guys miss this? Because I did. Um, and then the other palette is the Shadows by Nine. You have the Navy, Amber, Burgundy, and Purple. I have the Burgundy because I just find that um, it suits me more. And it just goes with my eye color. And it's going to make my uh, green in my eyes pop more. Again, I've used this palette before. <laughs> yes, I dropped it, you guys. Again, I've used this palette before. And it just looks like this. So these are like kind of more smaller uh, pans if you I think they are as big as the 10 cent um, so yeah it looks like this and in here too there's some colors that Mac doesn't have like you have honey lust that we already have poppy seed we don't quarry we do antique we do um, amber and then hashtag noir and then you have uh, luxe star violet and sketch which is colors that Mac already has too so what's in here is if you have poppy seed and hashtag noir that is new in here 
but these are really awesome you know for traveling and you want something you know that kind of has all the range of colors you like but in a smaller packaging that's going to fit anywhere absolutely love this palette so these two are basically new with palettes so the 15 palettes they go for 99 dollars and this nine palettes they go for 48 dollars so it's completely worth it and um you have a lot of colors in there next i'm just gonna pick up random stuff i bought it a new primer this is the this is the moisture infusion primer that i've been eyeing for so long at mac and i've tried a sample of it and i absolutely love it i have super dry skin so this works amazingly because it's a primer it's a serum and it's also a hydrator at the same time which i've been loving a lot and um definitely recommend it for people who have super dry skin like i do so yeah i, I had to buy a new primer Next, this is a product that's been back ordered for so long and I'm so excited that I finally got it. It is the MAC Mineralize Volcanic Ash. Um, this is amazing, again, if you have dry skin. This literally exfoliates your skin and gives you this more like a, like a baby skin with like no dry flaky skin on your face. So this is amazing. It's uh, basically face and body, but I use it more for my face. Um, and it's also a, a cleanser at the same time, which is really cool. And I find it really helped a lot with my dark circles, uh, or my dark circles, wow. With my dark heads or my black heads on my nose. So it really works very well. Next, I also bought a, a foundation. This is the 1.5 Match Master, which I don't use anymore. But I still buy it as a backup if ever I want like more of a lighter lighter coverage of foundation on my face. I kind of have the Pro Longwear on right now, but um, I always love and will always love the Match Master foundation, which um, I use all the time uh, before, just because it has like a medium coverage and it's a mattifying primer uh, foundation too, which is perfect for people with oily skin. Again, I don't have oily skin, but I love the matte finish, not the glossy finish, but I need to what kind of work on finding a nice glossy finish that's not gonna make me look like I'm sweating my life out. We have some new lip liners um, that are permanent with MAC. The reason why I say we, if you guys don't know, I already I work at MAC and I obviously have some MAC advantages in here, but um, there's a lot of new stuff that MAC has. So this is a new lip liner. Um, we have like a, a whole new pli lip liner colors that are permanent, and this is one of them. I really like this because I don't really wear pink and I'm trying to kind of experiment with wearing pink as much as I can so I really liked this color a lot this is called talking points which is just a bright bright pink color there's also candy yum yum that is um, like limit uh, not limited sorry but permanent with Mac too uh, um, candy yum yum lip liner if ever you want it which is really pretty but this is how this looks like and I thought you know you know what let me try it let me see how it looks on my skin tone if I tan in the summer this would be a really nice summer color for me what's in here Oh, I bought the Extended Play um, Giga Black La Lash, which is the small one, which I use now. It's in my makeup bag, actually. It's the little uh, blue mascara. Where it is? This one right here, which is amazing because I, I use this all the time right now, especially for my lower lashes. Um, it's just a small little applicator that really holds on to your lashes and gives you the most amazing uh, volume with these. I absolutely love it. It's one of my favorites. I kind of went a little bit crazy on uh, mascaras, so please don't mind me. I just wanted to try different mascaras and see what they do. Um, so talking about mascaras, um, I have a few in here. I have the um, Oranati Waterproof Lash, which is new with MAC which is awesome I love I've been I think I also have another waterproof in here I think it's the zoom waterproof but this is the Oranati uh, waterproof which is the blue lid and you have the first lid that's going to give you the length and then you open the second lid that's going to give you the volume I'm not going to open it because I don't want it to dry out but this is really awesome to have if you like waterproof mascaras if you're going on vacation or whatnot they're amazing and then I also have the uh, Zoom Fast Black Lash product that I love a lot, especially to give that volume. So yeah, the Zoom Fast Black Lash. The Black Lash is the Extreme Black, by the way. And then another one of my favorite mascaras, it's the Studio Fix Bold Black Lash. Again, extra black, the one with the one-sided um, applicator, like the one with just one side with the bristles, which is really, really cool. I've used it a lot. You guys have seen me use it a lot, too. Um... I also bought a highlighter for summertime. Uh, Bright Forecast is my favorite, the Prep and Prime highlight. 
Um, I use this all the time as well. At the moment, I use Radiant Rose. Uh, Bright Forecast is a color that I use during summertime, and I absolutely love it. So I needed a backup in case you never know what happens. All right, another mascara. This is the Zoom Water Fast Lash. This is the waterproof one. Um, I thought, why not? have some blends with this and some volume with this why not <laughs> i just like to work with different uh, mascaras and i love mascaras and i could never have enough of mascaras so obviously i'm not going to open them all to like i use what i have right now at the moment i use the extreme giga black and i use the um extreme dimension 3d which are two of my favorite ones at the moment i absolutely love mac uh, mascaras that's why i want to kind of experiment and use some more and see how I like or if I have a preferred one than the other one but for now I just love all of them. I got myself the Pro Longwear Concealer NW20 because I'm sick of always taking samples so I decided to just go ahead and get it. It's um, my winter concealer and I absolutely love this concealer. In summertime I use the NW25 but in winter I use the NW20. Oh and I also ended up winning like a little gift at work uh, because I did I think I sold something that I was I was the only one that like sold a lot of it or something and I ended up getting I ended up choosing like a limited edition collection but it's basically colors that MAC has now um, which is I don't really have this color you probably be like what you don't have this color I don't but I really liked it because it was like in the Christmas packaging <laughs> Hello, um, so this is a Ruby Roo, which is the red one, like this, and I also ended up getting the Ruby Lou uh, lip gloss, which is the red one as well, and the Ruby Roo uh, lip liner, so these are all permanent now with MAC, by the way, and Ruby Roo already existed. So if you guys know, um, Miley Cyrus, it's she's the new Viva Glam with MAC, so I do have her lipstick and her gloss so you have the Miley Cyrus lipstick and gloss which is this is the gloss super pink and sparkly and then the lipstick I've been obsessed with it by the way mine is a little bit dirty because I mix it with like a darker lip liner for example be spoken for or night moth or vino or current or cyber world that smack has now or even with heroin lip liner or magenta lip liner to really create kind of your own or even mix it with anything that's nude as well whether it's a gloss or a lipstick i love this pink because it has a blue tone to it so it makes the teeth look white so my Cyrus is our new viva glam at the moment and her lipstick is doing great and it's really really a pretty color it's i find it's very trendy for spring summer so i absolutely love it this one here was from a collection that I think is called Lightness of Being. This is the Mineralize Duo um, eyeshadow. I can't wear Mineralize on my eyes because I'm extremely allergic, which sucks because I love the Mineralize texture and the eyeshadows because they're super sparkly and stuff, but I can't wear them for the life of me. My eyes literally itch and turn red and they inflate and uh, it's so annoying, you guys, but it sucks that I can't wear this. I might give it to my mom because she, she likes sparkly shadows and she likes purples too. And um, this is called Lip or Leap. But I can, though, wear the Mineralize Rich Lipsticks. These I absolutely love because they're super moisturizing and the colors are really nice. So this is called Style Surge, which is a cute little coral color, perfect for the summertime just to kind of, you know, throw on. I really love, love this color. I came up with the 24-hour um, eyeshadow primer, which you've seen me use quite a few times in my videos. And then they also came up with, finally, I love this product because I find it works very, very well. And it's the Blemish Control Gel. Amazing. You put this before you go to bed and you literally wake up the next morning with your acne completely dried out. Um, I find by the third day with my acne experience or like the little pimple experience that I have, my pimple or my acne is gone within three days using this product. I absolutely love it. Um, it's a product that I would recommend more to wear before you go to bed rather than uh, wearing it under your makeup because it does kind of like crust at the end because of the acid. It kind of dries, which is best if you use it before you go to bed. And the applicator of this is just super tiny. 
like this and you just add a little bit on the acne and you feel it burning a little bit because of the acid because it's drying out the acne so this is um, one of my favorite products and I highly recommend it to just try it at first take a sample from MAC try it and see how it works with you um, you might find it a little bit strong at first like I did uh, but it's completely normal just because this product contains acid inside so this is what basically dries out the acne or the pimple or whatnot whatever you have I also bought myself another Another backup is Studio Fix Powder in C4, which is my color. I actually use this color during winter and summer for some reason. It works with me with both seasons and I just needed a backup of this. And now I have a, another uh, nail polish from MAC, which is, these are the over accessorizers from MAC or accessorized from MAC. Um, these are, MAC just recently started coming out with like glitter polishes and stuff and um, some little flaky ones too which is really really cool I ended up having this was called this is the glitter over accessorized and it looks like this is like a pinkish beigey golden color which is really really pretty I normally would wear this on just one finger um, like basically more on the ring finger or the it's called the ring finger on this just to kind of like give it a little bit of a bedazzle. Alrighty, so MAC um, came up with two collections that I absolutely love. The first one was Toledo and then the other one was Cinderella. And uh, yeah, I do have a few things from the Toledo and from Cinderella to show you guys. So since I work at MAC, I do have MAC advantages. Um, so I do, I did get the Sin lip gloss from the collection. Unfortunately, it's not packaged again because I work at MAC and they send us, you know, like gratises from collections. But, you know, some little things or one thing from a collection, sometimes two things. For the Toledo, they sent us two things. Thank you, you guys are very generous and I love when I get gratis, it's so fun. Um, so I ended up getting Sin lip gloss. As much as I love Sin lipstick, I literally die over that lipstick. I absolutely love it and you guys see me wearing it most of the time on my my Instagram and my stuff like that. I always wear it, I love it. So for me to get the lip gloss, I was very happy. And then I also got a lipstick called Barbecue, which is very, very pretty. Again, mine is dirty because I like to mix it with like darker lip liners just to get that ombre look. And I love this lipstick. It kind of looks like Lady Danger um, mixed with Social, but it's a very nice matte orangey red. Super pretty color. And then I also ended up, they did a contest. The one who sold uh, the last blush or the last eyeshadow would win something. So my coworker ended up selling a the last eyeshadow palette and she uh, won the blush and she gave it to me. Thank you, Bunny. I love this blush. Um, so this, this is the Toledo Ombre Blushes that they came up with. And it's like the corally to pink blush. And this is called uh, ri Ripe Ripe Peach and it's super pretty I love to wear peaches during uh, summer and winter so this is a blush that I've been wearing a lot lately and I absolutely love it and then I ended up buying two things from the collection because I just couldn't let them go so I ended up getting the um, Oxblood lipstick and the Oxblood uh, lip gloss too I mean this color looks a lot like kinda sexy not even kidding it looks really similar to kind of sexy but i just had to get it because of first of all the packaging of this and the actual packaging of the actual product so the box looks like this and you pull it out and it says mac toledo and oh it's so pretty i'm so keeping these um so you open it up and i love love the packaging of this i mean look at it just just you know look at it it's so pretty Oh my god, okay, this I'm not gonna throw behind me. Um, this is how Ox Blood looks like. It's a very, very pretty color. It kind of reminds me of that famous Kylie Jenner color, but um, it's prettier. It's really, really, really nice color, and it looks like that. And I also bought the lip gloss. To the lip gloss, if Sin was packaged, it would look like this. So. This is how it looks like. So I have the Toledo writing on it in red with the white cap and the little face detail going on. And this is how the lip gloss looks like. I love this color. It's so pretty. It's kind of like a pink coral nude 
I don't know it's just it's a very very pretty color and I absolutely love it yeah and then um, I also got the um, what's it called this is the studio eye gloss I got the taupey one um, this one's called lightly taupe and it looks like this so basically this one you can wear on your eyes or on your cheeks these are very very in lately um, especially for the summer time to create that dewy finish or that dewy glossy look this is definitely uh, one of those uh, I have to say that these are kinda thick um, in product they kinda feel like a gloss literally that you wear on your lips um, this is a product that I would wear on my lips because it's just very glossy and super pretty um, but I don't know if you guys are able to see it but it's a very nice taupey color with some pink iridescence in there too which is stunning stunning and so beautiful and it's kind of sticky too so I know I'm gonna get this all over my hair now as I did at work <laughs> but it's one of my favorite products too um, this is a product that I actually won um, because we sold the collection so fast and uh, they ended up giving me like a little grad like a something you know just a little reward so I ended up taking the Cinderella pigment um, this is actually packaged and I'm so happy uh, this one is called uh, fairy godmother I believe no evil stepmother I was close um, so yeah it's just the the, the purplish blackish navyish pigment and I love it it's super pretty and obviously I ended up buying two things from the collection I wanted to buy the whole thing but I'm like you know what I have to kind of control myself and I'm someone that if a collection comes out I tend to go more for the lipsticks or the beauty powders or the blushes or the nail polishes so um, I ended up going for the lipstick and the highlighter or the blushes so the lipstick I got is, is called Royal Ball and I absolutely love it and the packaging is so pretty you guys I mean come on now it's so pretty you can't see, see it that well because of my light but it's just a pretty blue packaging with like that purplish pinky iridescent to it too and it has a gold rim and the gold Cinderella writing and it's so pretty it has the the gold cap too or like the this gold thing um, and it's pink it looks a lot like literally I'm not even joking um, cream cup literally cream cup mixed with pure Zen I would say but it's just a light uh, corally pink color I'm not gonna swatch it because it's, it's still new and I'm sorry guys so I ended up getting the Mac um, this is the radiant powder press powder in uh, coupe, de coupe de chic again beautiful beautiful packaging this is what got me into getting this collection and then um, this is what actually really got me to get this because it's a pretty golden pink highlighter perfect for the summertime especially if you are someone that tans into that golden tone like I do oh my god love it so much I just had to get it I just had to get this and the lipstick from this collection these are the main things that I was eyeing the most and I'm very very happy to get them before anybody you know get them before me because I was gonna be really really sad and obviously I'm gonna be keeping the boxes too um, because I'm just a box collector especially if it's a MAC limited edition packaging and it has like a little design to it. So this is my MAC haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please let me know if you have any questions in the comments down below. I'll try to get to you guys as soon as possible. Again, I'm really sorry for my lackage of videos here on YouTube that I haven't been posting as much as I can or, you know, I try to but I'm literally most of the time I just don't have no time. But I am planning on doing a clothing haul soon because I've been collecting few things for summer slash spring and also I bought some activity wear as well that I am waiting to get in to get shipped here or finally get it at home so I can show you what I got for like my fitness wear or kind of my activity wear that I'm gonna be doing at home so I'm super super excited about that to show you guys all of those little goodie stuff and some shoes too very pretty um, I can't wait so I'm just waiting on like few things that I get in the mail and then I'm hit and ready to film a video for you guys to show you everything thank you guys so much for watching I'm really sorry again I missed you guys so much and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video again if you have any questions just leave them all in the comments down below I'll get you guys as soon as I can thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you later bye everyone